Developing news tonight, all new at 11. Investigators are at the scene of an abandoned quarry in Suffield after a man fell to his death near a popular hiking trail. Channel 3's Roger Susanna joins us now live near the scene with the very latest. And Roger, what can you tell us? Well, Aaron, you know, people are not allowed to hike in the area immediately behind me because police say it is simply too dangerous. In fact, you can see that there are no trespassing signs clearly posted here. At this point, investigators don't know exactly what led to this man plunging to his death, but they are not yet ready to rule anything out. Emergency responders from Suffield and Granby rushed to an abandoned quarry near the Metacomet Trail after an eyewitness called 911 just before 7 with horrifying information. The, the passerby heard a yell and, 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 and saw this person falling. Investigators used off-road vehicles to find the victim, but sadly he was already gone by the time they reached his body in a wooded area. Police alerted a Lifestar helicopter crew to turn around. At this time, I, we don't know if this was a, a fall, an accidental fall, if this was an intentional act or anything else. So that, that remains under investigation. Police have not identified the victim, but say he is a white man likely between the ages of 18 and 30. We will be working throughout the night to identify this individual. And um, unfortunately, at this time, we, we don't have anything else about who this person may be. The quarry is located near the Granby Suffield line, and it's illegal to hike in the area. But sadly, Suffield Police Captain Christopher McKee says even though no trespassing signs are clearly posted in the area, people do it all the time. He hopes this can serve as a somber wake-up call. We don't want to have any tragedies like, like what's happened tonight. And police believe the eyewitness was also trespassing, but they do not believe he was with the victim. In fact, they believe that the man who died was likely by himself before he fell. But again, that is part of this investigation. Reporting live in Suffield tonight, I'm Roger Susannon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.